Visionaries, welcome back for another update on my alkaline 12 day fast. This is the update for days six through eight. A little bit has changed since my last video. Thank you so much for being on the planet. If you are new here, please do like, share, and subscribe. If you are a veteran to the planet, thank you and welcome back so that I can share some awesomeness about my continued alkaline fast. Um, if you guys saw the videos from the prior days, you know what the basis of the fast was with things that I use and ingest on a regular basis, what my reasons were for starting a fast in general, all that awesome stuff. So if you haven't seen me yet, please do look back at those for context. And so in days six through eight, I'm on my eighth day now, it's midday. And by the time you're seeing this, it's probably gonna be maybe the afternoon of day eight. So um, I feel well in general. There has been a little bit of a change. The first five days I was doing liquid fasting all throughout the day, my broths, water, tea, uh, the lime water, sea moss drink, things of that nature. Now, starting with day six, I'm moving to a more intermittent fasting phase where I'm doing 20 hours of fasting and then a four hour window within a 24 hour period to eat. So I am eating solid foods throughout this and one is to help me and what is working best for me and help me to sustain as I have incorporated exercise as well while I'm fasting. So it has helped me as I was working through my workouts to feel uh, that have the necessary energy that I needed to sustain the type of workout strength training that I'm embarking on as well now. So essentially day six, seven, and eight, I have been eat not eating until noon. So noon to four is my four hour window. And then the rest of the time I don't eat at all. And then repeat that each day. And so to break my fast each day, uh, I usually eat alkaline foods, um, the ones that obviously are on the savvy list and varying that. So it's a couple principles that I abide by in terms of breaking my fast. So if I'm going to have carbs, I don't mix carbs with fats. It's similar to like, some people might see it as being somewhat on a ketogenic diet, but obviously it's meat related proteins in a ketogenic diet. So that's not specifically what I'm doing, but I'm limiting the carbs. Like I wouldn't make myself a uh, spelt flour flatbread, for instance, if I'm going to have some green vegetables. So I would just have some roasted kale or something to kind of break the fast, give myself the energy, or I would have some fruit. So some mixed berries, maybe blueberries, strawberries to break the fast um, after my workout to give me some quick energy there uh, while my glucose levels are spike insulin, insulin levels are spike, give myself some glucose and some fructose to help. And obviously these are like, um, very specific to my body chemistry and things that work for me. And I just know that from years of the regimens that I've put myself through and what works. And so generally I feel healthful, have the necessary energy when I do my workouts then to have that energy that I need to, as a post workout to sustain me throughout the day. So I'm still drinking my lime water, doing my sea moss. I'm still doing the um, fig tree online supplement. So the bio one and bio two, um, everything is working well together. And I have that additional sustained energy for my workouts during the day. So I'm going to continue through the rest of the 12 days on an intermittent fasting basis and go from there right now. Uh, I worked out this morning, has a fruit um, smoothie, very smoothie. And then now I'm having my veggie broth that I made and the recipe for that 
is in the day two video in the description, the vegetables I used. Um, and so I still have some of that broth left. I'm coming to the end, so I'll have to make another batch to make it through the rest of the four days that four or five days, yeah, four days, nine, 10, 11, 12, four days that I have left. So I have the veggie broth in my mug with some sea moss gel. So one tablespoon of sea moss gel to like eight ounces of the veggie broth and I sip that and it tastes kind of like a gumbo without the seafood in it. So the sea moss has its sea flavor seafood flavor in the vegetable broth, so it's kind of like a combo or chowder. And that gives me the 92 of 102 nutrients that you need throughout the day. One thing that's key is to make sure, and for me to make sure, I'm gonna talk in terms of me instead of it be me, you know, giving some kind of health advice to anyone, but just what works for me that during any kind of fast, you want to make sure that you're still getting the necessary nutrients. So obviously, since we're not getting the nutrients from food, if you were on a typical liquid fast, you're not getting the nutrients you need on a regular basis. So I'm supplementing that with the sea moss as well as the supplements that I'm using. Uh, from Fig Tree online. So you guys, as you're embarking on the journey, let me know what you use or have used to sustain you on the fast because so as I'm getting older, I'm over you guys. Um, and so I want to make sure that I'm doing things in the most healthful way as possible for me and the nutrients that I need for my body as a woman over 40. So the traditional way I did things when I was younger and doing my fast, I definitely had an idea about being helpful, using supplements, nutrients, additional nutrients to the diet, things of that nature. But it's even more so now because I want to make sure that I'm maximizing the health and repair after workouts and things because I don't want the sluggishness, low energy, ache and muscles for days on end. It'll kind of get in the way of you being motivated to continue exercising during the time as well as kind of giving you the mental clarity and focus that you need to one, sustain through the fast itself, but then in addition to that, do other helpful things like exercising and meditating and things of that nature. So I definitely uh, make sure that in the proper nutrients as a result so that I can continue to age well. So this has been an awesome process in general. I think if I had some learnings to share, which I am going to obviously share at the end of the 12 days, but as I'm in the middle of this, I would definitely have taken baby steps from going to, from a meat eating diet to then waking up that morning and saying, I'm going to do a 12 day alkaline fast and think that I'm mentally prepared and physically prepared. My willpower will see me through. Now when I was younger, I um, was super stubborn. And so that probably would have been enough and I would have gone through the 12 days or whatever come out of it on the other end and have accomplished my goal. However, I think being older now and just understanding all of the components of what makes the most sense and how you can endure and the way you set yourself up for success on these things is a little bit different and just saying I'm going to wheel myself through it. So for me, if I was to do it all over again, I probably would start with a three day fast and then make sure I'm eating a normal diet, a normal alkaline diet. And then I would go five and then maybe seven and then, you know, 10, 12, kind of ease myself into it. And obviously do them at different points in time, like do one fast a month or something like that and kind of do my body regulate itself instead of doing something super shocking so that as I'm in the middle of it, me changing course from a full liquid diet to then an intermittent 
fasting diet, I was kind of like feeling that I failed in some way, which overall the the best thing is to have gone through some sort of change, eliminating meat in my diet for 12 days, um, having very helpful, healthful eating habits in general, uh, sustaining a for 12 days, even if it started as a full liquid fast, the first six days and then the fa final six days, um, me eating once a day, but eating alkaline food. So it, I have to just generally keep it all in, in perspective because I have, sometimes have an all or nothing mentality. Like if I don't do it to the letter, I fail type of thing. And with something that's as important as this process and you didn't know your body biology was healthful for you, what is going to sustain you and put you in a well, well positioned mind, body and spirit that you should be nicer <laughs> to yourself and not have such stringent ideas about what constitutes success with you. Anything that makes you better, feel better, look better, there's nothing wrong with saying look better, um, mind, body, spirit-wise, it's just awesome. So I am sitting in the fact that I did something incredible this week over the next, you know, from the beginning to the end of the 12 days, which this Saturday will be my 12th day and the end of the fast. So um, I just have to learn, which I am as I'm getting older to take uh, the victories that I accomplish and acknowledge them and don't like beat myself up if I don't uh, do them to how I expected or have them very <clears throat> stringent high expectations as I'm doing things. So that's hard for me to do because I've been like that for the longest time. But you can see it on the day two or day three video or whatever it was when I was saying that for the most part I had to full liquid diet that day. But I uh, broke down and had one Persian cucumber, which was like a tiny little cucumber, and ate that, and I thought that was the end of the world. So even through this short amount of time, being on the eighth day, uh, I definitely probably will watch all of these back and see how my thought process was transitioning, the calmness that's over me now was coming over me from the fifth day on me understanding that the transitions that I'm making within the fast were natural and I should embrace them instead of saying, no, I have to do this to the letter uh, because I said I was going to, my brain is telling me you should do this and so do it and your body will follow type of thing. That's not how it works. So I'm um, just getting in tune, grounded, and understanding that this process overall definitely kickstarted a cleansing within myself, spiritually, mentally, physically, all that. And so that within itself of the success and um, aspirational in general. So if you are embarking on a fasting journey or thinking about it, I would encourage you to do so as it make sense for you, your health. Definitely, if there is a health professional that you trust that you, you know, consult them where you begin to know what makes sense for you. Um, I've had experience doing this a few times before, so my body, I kind of just know what feels right and doesn't feel right for me. And so, that's the things that I've been expressing to you throughout this process. So if something doesn't sound like it'll work for you based on you know what you're hearing others say, myself, others you might be watching to see how their journey is going, definitely do what feels right for you because it's your journey, you're an individual. 
even though we might be going through a similar process of fasting, my results, the way I'm approaching it, things of that nature may be totally different than the way you need to embark on your journey. So hopefully as you see my process, it's helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions about my process or anything that I'm doing or what I'll be doing next after the intermittent fasting phase, please do give me a comment down below, question below. I definitely will answer those and I look forward to hearing from you guys what journey you're on, whether it's a diet journey or not just cleansing or whatever you might be doing differently in your diet, if anything. Uh, um, and also our mission here that I have my Absolute Venus channel. So you guys can go back there and look at some of my vegetarian videos. I also have a lot of videos about my natural hair, things that I was doing um, from a year ago and before that, because that channel is like seven, eight years old or more now, probably 10 years old now. So you can see what I looked like when I was vegan the first time, the second time. Um, and this is our time now. Uh, so just general health and wellness overall, no matter what part of the planet you visit me on, absolute Venus or Venus eats. And I'll continue to bring you more in the food realm over here, um, whether it's dieting, alkaline food, vegan eating in general. Um, I'm excited to bring you the next chapter here as I continue on. Uh, oh, the last thing is the weight loss is still continuing to happen at the same pace. I think between the fifth and the sixth day, I kind of stayed the same, but the weight is still going down incrementally each day. So <clears throat> on this eighth day, I think I'm probably at six to seven pounds lost now. So that will definitely come back to you with the ninth through the 12th day, guys. So that probably will be on Saturday. I'll make that one video on Saturday as I end the fast and give you the final update from there. Really appreciate you guys tuning in. And until next time, be well and peace, family.